Shalom Abbasai. There's a beautiful program, Time for Mishnah. It's the real thing. There's a drink that they sell in the world and they say, it's the real thing. I don't know about it. This is the real thing. Why? It's a commitment, not a major one, on a daily basis, learning four Mishnahs a day. From Sunday to Thursday, every day, four Mishnahs. There's a shear that goes with it, if you want to do it with the help of a shear, 15 minutes long. That's what we're talking about. After five days, that you have 20 Mishnahs that you learned that week. Friday is the Chazara on those 20 Mishnahs, and again, a shear with that to sum up those Mishnahs that you learned that week. Shabbos is the time that you go, the written material of the Mishnahs that you have learned in previous weeks. And you start finishing one parak after another, one Masechta after another, one Seder after another, and you start feeling, hey, I'm really covering ground. I'm really accomplishing. Now, this is not only for teenagers, it's for adults and for people at my age. And at my age, I have a saying to say, you got to cover ground before ground covers you. And this is the way how to cover ground. The idea that you're getting a command of Mishnayis is such an important thing. Why is Mishnah the letters of Neshama? Why do you learn Mishnayis li'ilui Neshama? Is it just random, the same letters? No, because they both have the same function. A Neshama of a Yid is the source of his whole essence. He has a goof, he has a nefesh, he has a ruach, he has many different parts as well. But the root, the shorish of everything is his neshama. Similarly, in Torah, there's Torah Shabbat, there's Torah Shabbat Peh, there's Rises, there's Mishnayis, there's Masa Matan, many aspects to Torah. The root of Torah, the neshama of the Torah, is the Mishnah. The Maral in various places in the Swarm speaks at length how important it is to learn Mishnayis. The Torah Yom Tov writes in his Agdama, that he wrote the commentary on the Mishnahis as a result that his Rebbe, the Maral, was pushing people to learn and to learn Mishnahis. And he made Chaburis in Prague and elsewhere to learn Mishnahis. So if you commit yourself for about 15 minutes a day, you will know in three and a half years the whole Shas. It's unreal. Let's think about it carefully. It's 15 minutes, it's a commitment, but we can manage. We can manage, we could find 15 minutes a day for this noble achievement of knowing Shas Mishnayas in three and a half years. I want to wish you all that we should have the bracha, the Chol Banaych, the Mude Hashem, the Rav Shlom Banaych.